Hey there, it's Dave with the House Flipper Academy and I'm going to show you how you can set up saved searches for your farm areas and receive automatic email notifications using Redfin to help you get a better pulse on your local real estate market. So one of the things that we've talked about in our curriculum is how you should narrow down your market research to specific market segments, neighborhoods, or school districts called your farm areas. These farm areas are where you'll focus all of your time and your efforts to become an expert on property values and your competition in the area. So let's start by, by just typing in a large search area like Kansas City into Redfin. So I'm going to type in Kansas City, Missouri. And as you can see, it looks like we have over 1,900 homes just in the Kansas City, Missouri. If we remove this outline, it's actually going to remove the outline and show us all of the houses that we have in the greater Kansas City area, which is 6,786 homes. So you can see there's almost 7,000 active listings. So obviously it's easy to get overwhelmed when you try to focus on too large of a market, which is why you should really start by narrowing down your search. And then once your business starts to grow, you can always start to grow your farm area and expand your market reach. But let's let's focus on specific market segments, neighborhoods, and school districts. So I'm going to zoom into an area of Kansas City uh, that I'm familiar with. I always recommend that you try to start in your own backyard, in neighborhoods, school districts that you are familiar with. It'll make this process much easier for you to get started. Um, so I'm just going to start in an area that I'm familiar with, an area that I grew up in, which is the Northland of Kansas City. So you can see you've got the Missouri River running through here, and everything north of the river is called the Northland. Then you've got downtown here, and then you've got South Kansas City down below that. Um, so now that I've narrowed down my search just to the Northland, we'll want to draw some boundaries of those areas. So uh, Really, um, I, I only work in a specific school districts in the Northland. So you can see that you know the Northland's a pretty big area. It, it, it goes east to west, just north of the river here. But I don't really go anywhere west of 169 Highway. So what we could do is we could start our first search is just to narrow down our search to the overall area that we're going to be working in. So I'm just going to draw a line. So you can see there's a little draw button there. Now, if you just draw a line around that search area, you can create your first search. So now you can see it's going to uh, basically only show the homes inside that area. And then you could go up here and you could say save search. So you could say Northland over view or overall. And you can see you can set up your email notifications so you can get automatically notified instantly every time a new house comes on the market or you can get um, notified daily or never um, for the overall search I'm just gonna make it daily so that way I just get a daily digest of all of the houses that are coming on the market um, and then you can click update and now that search is saved in my account so every single day I will get notified of houses that come on the market in this area now, what you can also do is you can change the, the price ranges. So, for example, a lot of new construction houses are really going to be probably 400 plus in the Northland. So, you're, you're not going to be necessarily flipping uh, rehab houses. So, you might just want to narrow down your search um, to a certain price range. So, we don't want to be seeing houses that are over $400,000. Those are going to be generally new construction houses so now we've narrowed that down and we also need to narrow down the type of property that we're going to specialize in so we can click on this say more filters um, generally I like to focus on houses that are at least two bedrooms two baths um, but prefer three bedroom two bathrooms so you can change the search to uh, three bedrooms two baths so actually let's just do no max for bedrooms and we could change this to two bedrooms. So the reason why I might go down to two bedrooms is what if there's a house that has additional space to add a bedroom? Well, that could be an opportunity to add some value to that property. So that's why you could you could 
keep it at two bedrooms, even though ideally we're looking for three bedrooms. Um, you could keep it at two bedrooms here, so that way um, if there's an opportunity to add a bedroom to the property, you could do that and you could have those properties show up in your search. And then minimum two bathrooms. Okay, so now you can see all of the at least two bedrooms, two bath properties in the Northland of Kansas City. And we could save this as a search here because these are going to be really um, maybe the properties that we could potentially purchase or it's going to be the properties that uh, is going to be our competition in the market. So that's really another thing that we're looking for is we want to know about all of the competition that we have in our market that we're going to be working in. So if you save this as a search, you can see it's going to say Kansas City, two bedrooms, two baths. It's going to show you everything that you've got listed there. And then you can get, again, notified instantly or daily. So since we've kind of narrowed this down, um, a lot of times if, it, if I've got specific segments built out, I'll start to change it to instantly. So if there's certain segments in the market, I will do that. So let's narrow this down even more now. So now we've got a, a, a Northland search of just the area I want to be in, and we're only focusing on certain houses. And now we want to focus on certain neighborhoods. So there are certain neighborhoods that are primed for flipping. There are other neighborhoods that are not so great. So I'm just going to show you um, a quick search of just setting up a neighborhood search. So a lot of times I'll just use the draw border. You can also do neighborhood searches by uh, finding the or searching the neighborhood name and it'll show you all of the properties in that specific neighborhood. Uh, but I like to but I like to just use the draw border here. So what you'll do is you'll identify certain neighborhoods in your, your area or your market where you want to be flipping houses. And then you'll just draw a border around it. So um, I'm just going to draw a border around this area here, which is just kind of a area in the Park Hill School District. Okay. And then you could set this up as a search. You could say save search. And then I'm going to set it up as instantly. So whenever a new property comes on in that area, uh, or even if it goes pending or there's a status change or it sells, I'll automatically get a notification sent to me about that property. So that's really where the value of this comes into play. So um, every single morning, every single day, I'll get a daily digest of all of the re all of the real estate and properties that have come on the market. I'll also get a notification about um, the pending properties that have sold and what they're what they sold for. Um, and then I'll also get those instant notifications. So whenever um, one of my competition uh, posts a new property on the market, I'll automatically get a a notification sent to me. And it'll tell me the property value, it'll tell me the number of beds, number of baths, and then I can look at the pictures to see what my competition is doing in the market. So you can see these are the houses that are currently available in this area of my search. So then you can just see, okay, houses are selling for in between uh, 215 all the way up to $300,000, and that's for a three bedroom, three bath. So now if you start to get these daily notifications sent to you, you can see how you would definitely get a better pulse on your market and things that are happening in your area. So then you can scroll through these pictures. Okay, what does this house look like at 220? It does look like it's it's been a flip house or somebody that's done a remodel in this area. Got a kitchen remodel, new hardwood floors, new paint, um, new carpet throughout the property, new bathrooms. So this looks like a good, uh, good comp for what a flip might be in this particular area of the search. So uh, again, this is just more, more so to get a better pulse on the market. So that way um, you can understand what property values are selling for, whether it's a property that needs a lot of work, you'll, you'll find out what those properties are worth and what they're being listed for in your market. And then when somebody takes that property, rehabs it and relists it, you'll know how much those properties are selling for when they're completely rehabbed in your market. 
So hopefully that was helpful. Um, that's how you can set up your searches. And then you can go over here to saved searches um, and you can manage all of your searches. So you can see I've actually got a whole bunch of different searches here in my saved searches of different neighborhoods that I'm keeping an eye on. And whenever a new property is listed in those neighborhoods, I'm automatically sending an email notification. And so that way it helps me know everything that's going on in my local market. Um, so again, I hope that helped. I guess if you have any questions or anything, please let me know.